Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR Family Game video. This is Droid TDR on the main. Are we ready to get to the quarterfinals? I believe we are. So let's get to it. Alright, we gotta get we gotta go against this rock steady dude. I wish I knew what his uh, terminology is. Like it looks electro for sure. We need shielders, I think. Wind? We've got one healer, one attack. Maybe we should also have a dendro attack. I think that might work. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Feature opponent V. Ugh, it's you. The, the uncultured, uncultured swine. swine. Oh my gosh, seriously. The way you dote on your fungi. It's pathetic. What a joke. You <laughs> make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all, the mighty Hania. Oh, really? So she's going to be in the finals, aren't she? That's debatable. Hmm. You keep telling yourself that. You were never going to come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Yeah, whatever, dude. Why can I not hit him at all? It's tough to get down. What the heck? How did I miss that? Let's say we get down some of the other guys first. Okay, that guy's gotta be gone now. So we're doing the water guy. Let's fire him up. And draw him. Nice. And we'll go on this guy. Be gone now, isn't he? Yes. All right. What else 
Master, what else gets rid of Geo? He's a shield dude, right? So... I don't know, I guess we do Dendro then Fire? Yes, sir. No! This can't be happening. I trained my fungi non-stop. Maybe I should have been harder hmm. on them. Yeah, that'll uh, work. Well, we beat him, but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Yeah, me neither. But let's see what's next on the hit parade here. See if now the plot thickens even further. Traveler, Paimon. I made it through. Hooray! That's amazing, Layla! You've reached your goal! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is this issue. He was really mean. He said some weird things. True. I see what you mean. Yeah. Somehow, beast teamers like him make me feel a little... Yeah. Sad. He clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. I don't also, know, maybe. he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other all contestants All the contestants, down. huh? Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. Mm -hmm. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. Nice. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't okay. matter who wins. This is just a little contest between friends. Which is absolutely fine as long as we win. Nice. Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Hmm. A little bit. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. Oh, boy. I barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. Oh, dear. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Oh, my. Yeah, Please take her down. Yeah, would get to this point... Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. Yay. Yeah, that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. Eh, whatever. Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. Mm. All right. Participate in the semifinals. Let's go, Layla. Let's do it. Layla with Twirly Whirly. Yes. Both hard to hit. And Pan... Uh, powerful anima explosive shots. Hmm. All right, well, here we go, Layla. All right, we've got Water Guy. All right, well, we're going to use Fire Man, Dendro Man, this guy. Who else? This guy, I guess. Should we use Dendro? Let's use Dendro against the wind. Or Electric. I don't know. No, let's use Electric. All right, I got to remember three is the pounding guy. All right, here we go, Layla. Let's I'm do it. I'm feeling nervous, but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. 
Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. Mid fight. Okay. So you and your shrimp buddies can give it your all. Excellent. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly. Hit. Let's take down your Electro first. Oops. Got this guy down? Yes, we did. Use your happy, happy water balloons, Bogglehead! Uh, that means course, Layla and Twirly Whirly are like a well-oiled machine! We gotta step up our game! Wow. We're kind of destroying them. <laughs> oh, shoot. We lost. But, but it's okay. So far, Twirly Whirly. Really? Wow. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent, and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But <laughs> we were definitely beaten by the best. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Really well, too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. Perhaps this is how all competitions should be. Every match could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. All right. Challenge completed. And away we go to see... How's Yamiko doing? Are we gonna actually watch the battle? Oh, how'd it go? They look icy. Huh? It's over already? And why is the atmosphere so heavy? Oh my. Uh, does this mean Miko won? Your match is over too? You took your time. Hmm. I'm assuming it was a close call. Not really. For someone who just fought in the semifinals, bet it was a walk in the park, huh? Hmm. <laughs> yes, ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I to lose. To be beaten by Hania. Oh my! She actually what? looks sad. What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? Hmm. That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? Good question. I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Hmm. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? I don't the know. The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply hmm. pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. Hmm. You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro 1, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you. Oh. Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. Hmm. But Hania's long gone now. Where should we look for her? Well, right 
now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The hmm. answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. Uh... The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Hmm. Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight. Okay, I guess that sort of makes sense, I suppose. You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. Okay. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, hmm. I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength. My gosh, she's so minutes. sleepy all the time. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? This is everything we've dug up so far. Please take a look and see what you think. Oh. My, you've been busier than I thought. Hmm. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Hmm. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. Okie dokie then. Alright, let's go find this Hania lady. Uh, she's way out there. Okay. See what Hidney is up to. I don't know. Maybe she had a bad mushroom stew once. It's making her doubt whether mushrooms can be good. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Just goes this way, right? And this way. And this way. And this way. There she is. How did you find me here? Because... Are you comforting Pyro One? Nice. Yeah, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The mm. next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. Well, we want to understand where you're coming from. We want to help you see the fungi differently. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind. And believe the best in things. Fox lady? You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here. Read this. Uh, what is it? Uh, Merchant Log. Day 10 of the Fungi Invasion. Thankfully, we came across a group of farmers in the nearby area. They seem to have been trapped here by the aggressive fungi too, and we set up a temporary camp. The kind farmers brought sufficient provisions and medicinal herbs and almost saved us. But there were still several people who didn't make it. The fungi surrounding this area are increasing in number and they're still in that berserk state. We can't leave just yet. At least not before the fungi are gone, if they ever leave. It looks like we'll be staying here for a good while. Merchant Log, day 42 of the fungi invasion. Never thought that I'd become trapped by a bunch of fungi for so long. I still can't see any hope of getting away from this place. Rabib took his axe and made an attempt to go fight the fungi. But he was stopped by the other farmers. Everyone knows that none of us are going to last long without the leaders of the farmers around. But if the circumstances are enough to make the calmest and most composed farmer lose his cool, you can only imagine what the others feel. Everyone must be feeling pretty frustrated. The Zaytun peaches we picked from nearby areas. The remaining provisions are going to last a few more weeks. Following the farmer's suggestions, we have started looking for suitable seeds to grow our own food. 
The camp needs an expansion. We have to make plans for the long term. We might eventually have to turn this place into a small village. Village full of fungi victims? How absurd. Hopefully we'll manage to keep ourselves from starving to death before the crops mature. Oh my. These are my ancestors' records. Yikes. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. Oh my. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi pose to us. Hmm. So, that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. Yeah, but things are different now. Yeah, and anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together. It's not as simple as turning mm. bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. Interesting. Every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. Hmm. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. Hmm. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, you're going to start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Interesting. Hey, Lila's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? Maybe. As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Mm. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't mm. trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary. So who's going to listen to me? Good question. All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for and keep them from getting their way. All right. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. All this right. notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi, including Pyro One. No, I don't think he's that it's excited time to say about that. To the past. Oh my, this is not good. That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat her in the end, the final match. At least we got to know how she really feels. At least we got her notebook. Did it Mentioned something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Alright. Oh look. Researchers seem to be planning to use some sort of capture device. The code name of the device is a string of complicated terminology. In addition, they're preparing something called the withering potion. To suppress the fungi's activity, making them easier to control. Oh, interesting. Anyways, I'll record the information. The bottom half of the page is filled with complex terms and comments. Blah, 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 blah. We failed again. We returned to the village. Two seriously wounded mercenaries insisted on quitting. Before going to bed, I heard the lead researcher arguing with a few subordinates. One of them tried to convince the lead researcher to give up on the withering potion, saying they have gotten its function wrong from the very beginning. The outcome contradicted their expectations. It could very well lead to their deaths. Another subordinate was yelling curses at an unfamiliar person. Judging from the details of their argument, seems like someone has made a grave mistake. They are here to settle this mess, but upon witnessing the state of things, they start planning to drop everything and run. Something doesn't feel right. I still need more evidence to make sure. Huh. These look like research Interesting. Notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Mm hmm. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many legal terms. I can't make heads or tails of this. Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw them on the documents Dory gave us. The notes and the documents are connected. Let's all put right, it all together. Let's put them side by side. Go through carefully and try to figure out what's written in these notes. Who am I? Contents compiled after combining the clues. Vice Remnant. 
and the remains of the file that Dory gave you contain the same license of approval as the device recorded in the notes. Evidently, these devices are considered technologically identical. Similarly, the formula for floral jelly shares many basic ingredients and medicinal principles with the withering potion from the notes. The only difference is that the amount of certain active ingredients applied to the floral jelly is much lower than that of the withering potion. Also, protective ingredients and so-called stabilizers are added. At this point, it can be roughly deduced that the remnant of the instrument that the organizer of the Tamers tournament attempted to destroy utilized the technological outcomes of the capturing device. And the floral jelly can be deemed as an upgrade of the withering potion with enhanced safety that can trigger a temporary boost in the activity of fungi and let them gain some special powers. Okay. A capturing device? And a withering potion? The device used to capture the fungi made them calm and approachable, but the withering potion made them go berserk. So that's how it went down. Hmm. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. I guess. Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Kautilia's invention either, he's basically giving someone else's invention a new hmm. name and passing them off as his own. He's a big fat liar! Yeah, I'm not really Why surprised. Why is Kautilia so eager to get people to use the wisdom orb anyway? Good question. Maybe he wants to finish work started by scholars over forum, but more likely he just wants to take credit for other people's work. Hmm. She has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Interesting. Wait, what? What is he doing? Uh. Oh, don't worry, Bongo Head. Paimon knows you're not going to turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Oh, that's right. We don't even have it on. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow! You're getting smarter! <laughs> wisdom orb is inactive. What? Since when? Oh, Paimon didn't even notice. <gasps> Does that mean Bongo Head is hanging out with us by choice right now? Had a good experience so far. We gained a mutual understanding. Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't going to lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along. Like Bongo had here. Nice. Oh, Hania did make one good point, though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, hmm. fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. I was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? I don't know. Maybe. Let's keep a safe distance. Let's look for ways to improve the wisdom orb. I don't know. Yeah. It's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Kautilia to the Academia? We don't know what he's capable of. We also don't want to let him know we're on to him. True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Maybe. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then we should get Elhinga to help us expose Kautilia for the fraud he is. Agreed. Let's do that. Unfathomable defense quest completed. All right, let's see. What do we got now? Ooh, some more primos. All right, go to the next morning. All right, I have no doubt that this is going to be on the map way down here. So we'll teleport there, and then we'll wait until the morning. Ah, the match has not started. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Six, seven, eight. Right, let's see how we do with this one. Passing the time, another day slept away. Ladies and 
gentlemen, after some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the well, Neil Finals. Cup. Yes, sir. It's time to find out With four people. One of them is us. Of oh my gosh. Pania or the Traveler. If the winner of the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will hmm. then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. Hmm. Huh. Katoya isn't here today. Interesting. Oh, this is our chance. After the final match and the ultimate trial, we'll go tip off El Hingen and confront Katoya head on! Okay. Nico, Layla, you're here! Hey, they came and cheer us on. Much as I expected. The insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. Hmm. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. Holding off on reporting Cautilia to the Academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Cautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, is really who they appear to be? Interesting. We can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast tamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, hmm. how are we gonna get through to Hania? The answer Hania. should be quite obvious by now, surely. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. Hmm. I believe in you guys. I know right, you'll be able to win. get her to come around. Oh, she's still talking. Thanks for your support. Uh, yeah! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, and Pixara! The tightest power trio in all of Shroomdom! Nice. With your powers combined, winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churro! <laughs> oh, wait, are we gonna just be given these, these three now? I think so. Check the quest thing, and I guess we go with the three. Uh, start match. Bongo, Twirly, and Blitzara. All right, well, there it is. We've got fire people. I do like the shielding guy. Shielding guy might work well against the water dudes. So let's try that. And we're going to pause right here. Come back into the next episode when we do our finals against this crazy lady, Ania. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.